day one must-have cards that you need on your Madden 23 Ultimate Team on both offense and defense. Here is the offense that I have made that I think is going to be the best team day one of Madden 23 Ultimate Team. Now, starting it off with Josh Allen, 89 throw power, has the highest throw power out of all the quarterbacks released, plus 80 speed. Strong arm archetype, he's going to be an absolute stud. Then you have Joe Mixon. Joe Mixon is a very, very good card. He is going to be with the Headliners promo. Now, I'm sure that we will be able to get some of the stuff with the field pass to be able to earn some stuff to get him done. Probably, honestly, pretty cheap. Now, you could substitute him out if you did pre-order before the 22nd of July with the Barry Sanders. But if not, I think you definitely need to go after Joe Mixon. 86 speed. He does have come with a free ability and a free x-factor which is backfield mismatch for his ability and first front free for his x-factor super stud going over to wide receiver number one that is going to be ty reek hill now why because he is the fastest wide receiver released at 87 speed 88 deep route running everybody in the beginning of the game in my opinion of madden speed is super important so having somebody like tyreek hill is a must-have now going on to wide receiver two the reason why I put Cooper Cup here and also Tyreek Hill is I do like their archetype, Playmaker. So I'm kind of curious what goes along with that. But Cooper Cup is an absolute stud, man. He's got great route running. He is a little bit on the slower end with 84 speed, but he does have 87 catching. Cooper Cup, man, I just feel like his card is going to be a little bit glitchy, so I definitely want to try him out. Now for wide receiver three, a lot of people are going to be looking for Jamar Chase, maybe it even at number two, but I feel like Jamar Chase is going to be super expensive because of the name. Now, the reason why I took Chris Olave here is because Chris Olave and Jamar Chase have the same speed, but Chris Olave has better short, medium route running and um, just two less on the deep route running. So I think Chris Olave, you can honestly get him for free with the rookie premier token. So that's why I put him there. Now, going over to tight end, Travis Kelsey, he's 87 overall. Mark Andrews, 88 overall. No, you want Parham Jr. The reason why he is six foot eight, okay? Six foot eight is ridiculous with 85 speed. This guy is, is going to be an absolute monster. Now, from what I heard about the beta, people are saying the big bodies, aggressive catching people and stuff like that. This is going to be the guy to do it. On to the defense, coming in at left end Aaron Donald yes he is a right end but honestly the other left ends Cameron Jordan um George Karolaftis I probably pronounced that wrong they're not really that good they're 86 overalls yeah that's fine but honestly if you can get Aaron Donald at right end or Miles Garrett at right end and get both of them put them one in each that's honestly going to be what a lot of people do and they're going to be an absolute studs for you. If you can get Miles Garrett and Aaron Donald within the first week of the game coming off the edge, that is going to be absolutely insane. Now, going over to defensive tackle, okay? Defensive tackle is just a weird spot. You want a big body there. Sam Adams is one I'm going to go with. He's six foot three, 350 pounds. Honestly, not bad speed for being his size at 78. Decent play rec. He's got 87 block shed, 88 power move. I feel like him being at DT is going to be pretty good dt2 i went with perion winfrey i'm a browns fan you could put anybody you want there a lot of the times defensive two don't even touch my field so i just threw him there going over to cornerback we have legerius sneed at number one he is absolutely insane 88 speed 89 man coverage 84 zone coverage this card is going to be crazy definitely need this card on your team he is a must-have going over to cornerback two, none other than Jalen Ramsey Jalen Ramsey's cards are honestly super good he also has a very good man and very good zone for a stock card 88 man 87 zone 86 speed he's a must-have going on to cornerback three now the reason why I went here with cornerback three is Caleb Farley he has 87 speed which is the second fastest corner in the game released off launch that we know of and he matches Tyree kill speed. Now, I run a lot of defenses where I like to blitz my slot corner. And 87 speed coming off the edge is going to be super good. Definitely pick up Caleb Farley. He should be pretty cheap. He's a headliners card. He's going to be pulled a lot since he's a lower overall card. Definitely pick him up. Go over and over to free safety. We got Kevin Byard. Now, honestly, I really don't like his cards very much in the past. But this man's got 88 zone coverage, 85 speed. I feel like he's going to play. He's going to be a nice little ball hawk back there. Not a good user. But for the free safeties that we have coming into the games with the speed 
Um, you could go with Daxton Hill like I did. I put him at strong safety. Daxton Hill, 86 speed, 6 foot. Honestly, not a bad user. Now, if you look below that, if you do, if you don't pick one of the other guys with your July 22nd pre-order, Cam Chancellor, absolute stud, always very, very good. Now, coming over to right outside linebacker, you got one of the best ones in the game, which would be Micah Parsons. But if you didn't do the pre-order, then you can't get him. I wouldn't take a right outside linebacker anyways. Like I said, I would take Cam. But you have Divine Diablo, okay? 86 speed, 83 block shed, 85 tackling. I don't know what how the defense is going to play this year, but if you need a right outside linebacker, use him. Coming in at middle linebacker, we got Fred Warner and Tyndall. And the reason why Fred Warner, I like him, 86 speed. Like I said, speed is super important in the beginning of the game. Along with Tin Hall, which is uh, 86 speed as well. So those are your two fastest linebackers. That's the reason why I put them there. And then going over to left outside linebacker, that'll be TJ Watt. Best left outside linebacker in the game. And TJ Watt's cards play really, really good. Now, say if you're running like a big nickel or something like that, and you have TJ Watt, and you only have uh, Miles Garrett, and you don't have Aaron Donald, well, put TJ Watt at end, sub him in on that formation, and have Miles Garrett and TJ Watt coming off the end. He will be an absolute glitch for you. That is the team that I am going to go after and try to build. Yes, it's going to be expensive. I'm going to come up with coin methods, ways to get the headliner guys cheap. So if you guys like that kind of stuff, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, throw a like on the video. Comment down below. Let me know if I missed anybody. Who is your sleeper pick? Who is a must-have that you want that I don't have listed on my offense or defense? Let me know down below. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.